What's up vapers? Thanks for checking out Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mage Combo RDTA. All right, guys, so we've got another new product from our friends over at CoilArt. This is the Mage Combo RDTA, which means it's not only an RDTA where it has wicks that hang into a tank of liquid, but it's also a dripper as well. And I got to tell you, that is very convenient for sitting at the shop. You can use it in dripper mode. And then on my way home, I can quickly swap it over to the RDTA mode, fill up the tank with liquid, and I'm on my way. By the time I get home, I can switch it back or I can leave it, whatever I want to do. And that is just really darn convenient. I got to tell you guys. So I do have to state that I did receive this product for free from the manufacturer for the purpose of doing this video. However, it has no monetary value to me, which means my opinions on it will remain honest and unbiased. With that being said, I would like to give a huge shout out and thank you to the people over at CoilArt. They're the ones that sent this thing to me for the purpose of doing this video, and I really do appreciate checking out all their latest products. So taking a look at their website, they've got a couple different colors available right now. They have this version right here, which is the black with the gold accent, and they have a full stainless as well. You're going to be able to find these for around $35 $45 depending on where you look, but I did find a good deal on them So if you guys want to pick one of these up for yourself I'll leave a link in the description for you guys down there, but without further ado. Let's get right down to it Let's go down to the close-up view and take a better look at this thing All right guys, so as you can see I've got my mage combo RDTA in its original box So let's talk about the packaging real quick and then we'll get a look at what's inside So first thing you'll notice is that it's got this nice little shiny finish here on the picture of the tank The rest of the box is matte which is kind of artsy and cool which is why I like it uh, But in, in any case they've got the coil art logo mage combo RDTA and RDA on the top of the box here It's got a color indication of course mine is black, but it also has stainless and a variety of other colors I'm not sure if this if this is something that's reused from an older model or if it's a sign of things to come so that'd be pretty cool if they came out with a variety of different colors for this thing and on the bottom here you can see they have their social media links if you guys want to check them out online uh, also on this side here you have a four mil 24 millimeter indication that's the diameter and the capacity obviously and on this side here just another mage combo rdta on the back you have your little scratch and check authentication thing and the contents of the box but that's pretty much about it on there so let's take a look at what's inside so taking off the little sleeve you have a coil art logo there inside the box we've got our uh, mage combo rdta which we'll be taking a look at in a second here you also get a spare glass piece and a tank band which is a nice touch you can never have enough tank bands and spare glass pieces of course you also get a set of these velocity style posts which you can replace on the deck if you so choose if you don't like the ones that come with it you can completely swap them out and you get an extra set of screws as well also, you get this bag here, which contains some O-rings. It's got a full set of O-rings if you need to replace any single one. And the actual RDA base plate as well. So there you go. That's what you use if you want to turn it into an RDA. And finally, you get this little black screwdriver, which is uh, a nice touch. You can never have too many of these things. I probably have a million of them kicking around. Uh, they also include a little kind of parts guide, I suppose. Really not, a, I couldn't even call this a quick start guide because it's super basic. Just basic list of the parts itself. Kind of would have liked to have seen maybe a little something, maybe an instruction on how to change it into an RDA or something like that, but fortunately they left that out. So while we take a close up look at the tank, let's just run through some of the specs here real quick. We've got a 24 millimeter diameter, 54 millimeters overall height. It has a four mil juice capacity. It has adjustable top and bottom airflow. It's uh, 24 karat gold plated uh, building posts, interchangeable building post, velocity style deck included, extra bridge posts are included, it uses peak insulators throughout the device, uh, it's made of 304 stainless steel uh, and food grade Pyrex, and it has a gold plated 510 connection as well. So, with that out of the way, let's go over some of my favorite little features on this device here. So let's start off with the top cap section and go down from there. First and foremost, we have a nice wide bore mouthpiece, I'd say it's about as wide as you know uh, Kennedy or something like that and it's got a really nice shape to it very comfortable to use and it's made out of Delrin and uh, it doesn't heat up or anything like that uh, this uh, airflow adjustment section is metal and it has four air holes on one side here which is matched on the opposite side there it has uh, dual o-rings which make it fit really nice in the chimney and uh, you're never gonna lose this top cap because uh, these o-rings are really nice and chunky and they stick really well uh, 
Uh, with that, there is no single coil airflow option. So unfortunately for you single coil guys out there, you're going to have to deal with that dual airflow or find a way to block it off somehow. Moving on to the little chimney section here, the top cap, if you will. Uh, you can see the coil art logo there. You've got your four air holes and the bottom airflow section there. Um, and it's matched on the opposite side. So not much else to show about that. But once we get into the deck section, as you can see here, it's got this really unique clamp design, which I really like. Uh, Spring-loaded clamps work really, really well, make for very easy building. I've got my standard build on there right now, which is seven wrap, 26 and 36 gauge fused Claptons. And uh, it fits really, really well. Actually, I think I could go even a little bit bigger with it and still be okay and have plenty of room in there. Uh, it has dual O-rings, which keep the uh, top cap section on, and you can see the bottom airflow right there coming up there, and it's about the same as a Kennedy, I would say. It's a, a pretty decent uh, replica. Uh, nice 24 karat gold plating too. Um, not, I have no issues with the gold plating on this one. In the past, a uh, few of the gold plated Chinese uh, models had a few issues with it, but this one here seems nice and solid, and it's gonna last a long time. Uh, if we unscrew this section here, we can see the wicking holes that go through the bottom. These are a decent size, um, no complaints really in that department whatsoever. And uh, you can see the little 510 connection there. Now, how you turn this into a dripper, fairly simple. You just take your little bottom cap section there and just thread it on. And the threads, gotta say, pretty smooth, no real complaints there. Um, spins right on just like that. And in a matter of a couple of seconds, you got yourself a dripper. So putting that aside, we've got the bottom RDTA section. This is the little tank that attaches on. Um, one issue I have with this is the way it attaches to here. It just threads into this little section. And one problem I can foresee is that you can get juice in there really easily when you're filling up the tank section. So that can cause a big time mess. Not too much of a big fan of that, but there's your Pyrex glass tank. Uh, seems pretty solid and sturdy to me. Don't think it's gonna break anytime soon. And uh, you have the base piece there it says, uh, designed by Coilart Mage with a gold-plated 510 connection. Oh, and before I forget, I forgot to mention that this bottom airflow section is fully adjustable. So you can fully close it off if you spin it all the way to one side there. You can close off that bottom airflow and just use the upper airflow. Or you could spin it all the way to the other side and it has a nice little stopper on it. So when you close it off like that, it has the about the same size air hole as one of the upper sections here. So you can use a combination of bottom airflow and top airflow, or if you just like it really cut off on the bottom and you can just use it as that. There's tons of different options you can do for airflow on this section here, which is really nice. Um, also, one thing that's helpful with this design is that uh, you can just kind of use that as a little bit of leverage to get the uh, RDA section off, which you need to do every time you fill it up. So when you fill it, you have to take that section off, fill up your juice in this section here, and then just kind of screw it back on but it makes for a nice handy little uh, uh, guide whenever you're uh, readjusting your bottom airflow. So that about covers everything I wanted to talk about in this close-up section. Let's go ahead and go back to the main screen, have a quick vape on this thing, and we'll talk about it some more. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the close-up section of the video. Now let's talk about my personal thoughts about this device, some pros, some cons, and whether or not it's worth purchasing. Starting off today with the pros, and my first pro is that it's super simple to build. I absolutely love the build deck on this thing. Uh, it is incredibly easy to build on. Uh, some of you may have watched my Fresh Build Friday video where I did the build on this thing, and I gotta tell you, hands down, one of my favorite things about this uh, device is the spring-loaded clamp design. It has a uh, clamp design very similar to the MTurk RDA from uh, rig uh, where it has two little channels with clamps that go up and down and uh, as you loosen it the springs actually push up the clamps which make it incredibly easy to fit your wire in there and trim them and everything like that so that's one thing I absolutely love about this device is that it's very very simple to build on and it's very efficient but they also supply you with an additional build deck you can uh, switch switch out the posts and create a sort of velocity style build deck if you prefer to build on something like that and it's not very difficult 
able to do that as well. So love the build deck on this one. Absolutely 100% there. Uh, definitely a big uh, double thumbs up from me. My second pro is that it has airflow for days. This thing has not only four large air holes on the top, but also bottom Kennedy style airflow as well. And I got to appreciate that because I like having the options. Um, I generally speaking have been keeping this thing with a little bit of bottom airflow and about two or three holes on the upper airflow section open and I can get a nice deep lung inhale and I get a ton of vapor production out of it with my preferred build like I have it set up right now. And it's just overall very, very satisfying. You get that, you know, nice, big deep lung inhale uh, it's just there's nothing else like it out there my third pro is that it works great as a dripper that's pretty much what i've been using it as uh 90 of the time that i've been using this device um We'll get into that in a little bit here, but I've been using it as a dripper, and I gotta tell you, as a dripper, this has definitely become one of my favorite devices in the past six months that I've used, so I'm very, very impressed with that as well. Um, my fourth pro is that it's easy to transform uh, from a dripper to an RDTA. Um, you don't need to change your build or anything like that. It's simply a matter of unscrewing your device, taking off the little bottom plate, filling up the tank with juice, and screwing it back together as a RDTA. And it works great. It is super easy. Um, it takes no more than like two minutes to do. And for me, that's great because I always, you know, transition. I don't, I don't drip and drive. So what I like to do is fill up my tank before I leave the shop, uh, attach the little dripper section to it, put it back on my device, and I'm off and driving in a matter of minutes. I don't have to fiddle with anything. It's just really, really streamlined. And finally, the price. You really can't go wrong for, you know, under $50. This thing is a great deal. Um, normally, you would have to pay, you know, twice. Obviously, for two different uh, two different devices, you'd have to buy a dripper and you'd have to buy an RDTA. Well, with this one, you get both, and they're actually lower than some of the drippers out there of the average cost of you know a decent dripper out there now. So, with that, I think there's a lot of value for your money uh, just built into this thing here. So, that about wraps that up. Let's go ahead and have a couple more vapes, and we'll move on to the cons. All right, guys, moving on to some cons. And my first con is there's no fill hole on this tank. And I know what you're thinking. That is just absurd. And I am right there with you because personally, I like a tank that's nice and easy to fill up. And this is not one of them. Even taking the Coilart Azroth as an example, they had a nice big fill hole on there where you could just stick your dripper in there and give it a squeeze, fill it up no problem. And I never had any leaking issues. Uh, instead, with this device here, they went with the idea that they wanted to add more airflow. So they added bottom airflow to the tank and instead of including a fill hole for the device, which I think was a big mistake on their part. Uh, I really wish they had included some sort of fill hole system for this one here especially since uh, usually when I'm taking off the RDA section for filling it, I usually lose a mill or two of juice. My second con is that it spills more juice than it gets in the tank. And like I just said, uh, when you actually go to, to reattach the RDA section back on, uh, it tends to just kind of gurgle the juice up and over the sides and just kind of leak after the fact. Uh, I, I actually get more juice on my fingers just from uh, after reattaching the tank than I do uh, I actually get into the tank. I usually end up with about half a tank of juice and with a already low juice capacity that is also a pretty big con for me. Next up we have, uh, I'm not too crazy about the design overall and I gotta be honest with you guys, um, really just those two first cons just make and break this whole design for me. Um, I much prefer this as a dripper than an RDTA. Um, if they had just included a fill hole in it, I f feel like that would solve every single problem that I have with this design. However, as it stands right now, I'm not too crazy about it. I really don't like, uh, as you saw in the close-up section, how uh, the RD, uh, RDA se section actually attaches to the base piece here. It just has that like sunken in threads where you can easily catch some juice if you overfill your tank or something like that. And that's gonna cause it to get really gunky and really nasty and dirty and definitely don't think that's a great design aspect there. But yeah, just overall, not too crazy about the RDTA section of this. I much prefer it as a dripper. 
And finally, uh, I'd rather see uh, them do one thing right rather than two things kind of half-assed. And that's basically the, the con section summed up here because uh, they did it really uh, a really good job on the RDA section. I love this thing as a dripper. The RDTA section is a, a pretty big failure in my book. So um, I don't know. I'd rather just see them come out with their own dripper as a standalone rather than trying to do two things that just don't really quite work. So at the end of the day, is this device worth purchasing if I did not receive it for free for the purpose of doing this video? Would I go out and buy one on my own? Eh, probably not, to be honest with you. Um, like I said, this thing does a really great job as a dripper standalone. So if you want a good dripper by itself and you don't plan on using the RDTA section, then yeah, I'd say go out and get one of these because it's still a reasonable price if you can get one for like 35 bucks. Absolutely, I think that's a very fair price for a really good quality dripper with a few different deck options and tons of different airflow options. I think that's a great thing, but the RDTA section in my book is just a complete waste. I really don't even plan on using it after doing this video, but I will still continue using it as a dripper because I really do like it. But to be honest with you guys, um, yeah, I think uh, Coil Art, if they got together on this one and just came up with a new design with just a little simple fill hole, I would be so much happier. And then uh, my opinions on this device would change completely. Uh, but yeah, that's all there is to it. So that about does it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. Of course, leave me comments in the box below about anything you want to talk about. Would you use this in dripper mode? Would you use it as a tank? Let me know down there. I'd love to discuss it with you guys. Also, make sure you check out the advocacy links I have in the description. I've got them down there for you so you can fight for your right to vape. And check me out on my different social medias. I've got Twitter and Instagram. Make sure you follow me on there. Like my page on Facebook. Check out my Snapchat. And if you want to give me a couple bucks on Patreon, that would be awesome as well. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, vape on.